everyone knows what a dump truck is and is supposed to do. But how many people can name all the types and tell what each kind is specially designed to do? If you are interested in the history of the dump truck, please see my video on the garbage truck, which covers the history of the dump truck as well. Of course, you all know that the common names for the dump truck are dump truck, dumper truck, or tipper truck. The main use of a dump truck is obvious. It is to move bulk commodities from one place to another and deposit the material. A typical dump truck is equipped with an open box bed which is hinged at the rear and equipped with hydraulic rams to lift the front, allowing the material in the bed to be deposited or dumped on the ground behind the truck at the site of delivery. <laughs> That's the basics. There are 13 distinct kinds of popular commercial dump trucks, and that is a lot for one video. So I'm gonna make this a two-part video series. Today, I'm going to talk about six of them in this video. Type number one, the standard dump truck. <laughs> Let's start out with the standard dump trucks. That's the one truck that spawned all the rest. The evolution of the dump truck went from the push carts to the steam-powered tip car introduced in London, England in 1897. The tip car was intended to pick up garbage. Today, a standard dump truck is a truck cab and chassis with a dump body mounted for, to the frame. The bed is raised by a vertical hydraulic ram mounted under the front of the body or a horizontal hydraulic ram and lever arrangement between the frame rails. And the back of the bed is hinged at the back of the truck frame. All dump trucks dump their loads using mechanical or hydraulic rams to raise the bed and dump their loads. Most standard dump trucks have tailgates, but there are many kinds that do not have tailgates. The tailgates can be configured to swing up on top hinges and sometimes also to fold down on lower hinges. Or it can be configured in the high lift tailgate format wherein pneumatic rams lift the gate open and up above the dump body. Type number two, the semi-trailer in-dump truck. <laughs> a semi-in-dump tr is a tractor-trailer combination wherein the trailer itself contains the hydraulic hoist. In the U.S., a typical semi-in-dump has a two-axle tractor pulling a two-axle trailer with dual tires. The key advantage of a semi-in-dump is a large payload. A key disadvantage is that they are very unstable when raised in the dumping position, <laughs> thus limiting their use in many applications where the dumping location is uneven or off level. Type number three, the transfer dump truck. A transfer dump truck is a standard dump truck pulling a separate trailer with a movable, loadable cargo container which can also be loaded with construction aggregate, gravel, sand, asphalt, clinkers, snow, wood chips, triple mix, etc. The second cargo container on the trailer is powered by an electric motor, a pneumatic motor, or a hydraulic line. It rolls on small wheels riding on the rails from the trailer's frame into the empty main dump container. This maximizes payload capacity without sacrificing the maneuverability of the standard dump truck. Transfer dump trucks are typically seen in the western United States due to the peculiar weight restrictions on highways there. Another configuration is called a triple transfer train. These are common on Nevada and Utah highways, but not in California. Depending on the axle arrangement, a triple transfer can haul up to 284,000 pounds with a special permit in certain American states. Type number four, the standard dump truck and a pup trailer. A truck and a pup is very similar to a transfer dump. It consists of a standard dump truck pulling a dump trailer. 
The pup trailer, unlike the transfer, has its own hydraulic ram and is capable of self-unloading. This setup maximizes payload capacity without sacrificing maneuverability. A key point is that you don't have to unhook the trailer to unload. They are pretty nimble, but the driver still needs a little room to jackknife the pup to unload. This kind of pup trailer has a sliding drawbar and the amount of tongue slide is important because it allows the driver to pull the trailer closer to the truck to make the entire truck shorter. Type number five, super dump dump truck. A super dump truck is equipped with liftable pusher axles and a liftable trailing axle, which extends 11 to 13 feet behind the rear axle to stretch out the outer bridge measurement to maximize overall length. When the driver is ready to dump, the trailing axle is raised up on two hydraulic arms to clear the rear of the vehicle. This configuration allows the maximum gross weight in states that conform to the federal bridge formula. These trucks can be rated as high as 80,000 pounds gross vehicle weight and carry 26 tons of payload. Type number six, the semi-trailer bottom dump truck. A semi-bottom dump or belly dump is a typically a two-axle tractor pulling a two-axle trailer with a clamshell type dump gate in the belly of the trailer. The key advantage of a semi-bottom dump is its ability to lay material in a windrow also known as a linear heat. In addition, a semi-bottom dump is maneuverable in reverse. Unlike the double and triple trailer configurations, these trailers may be found either of the windrow type with the gate opening left and right, or may be of the cross spread type with the gate opening front and rear. The cross spread type gate will actually spread the load evenly the width of the trailer. By comparison, the windrow type gate leaves a pile in the middle. One drawback to the cross spread type gate is it tends to get jammed and may not work very well with coarse material. I have seven more basic kinds of dump trucks to talk about, so subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for part two. Once you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell next to it, you'll be notified when I put up part two on my channel. Now, let's go on and talk about a neat little Mac B model dump truck by First Gear. And here we go, guys. This is First Gear's Mac B61 tandem axle dump truck. And it was released for Mac. It has Mac trucks written on the door. It comes in their teeny, teeny, tiny box that's a window box that's First Gear. 164 scale die cast replica. Blank on the back. Ends are there. And then on the bottom, there you go. It says it's item number 60-0404. This is really cool. Now we'll go on and open this guy up. It does have the little window box. It has the back piece. And then it has a two-piece blister. However, unlike the others where it goes this way, this blister sits down. I actually kind of like this method better, but that's okay. And of course, they went and taped it together. But that's cool. It keeps us from dropping it. Especially when it pulls out this way, it'd be real easy if you pull it out. <laughs> Just holding this, thump, down it goes. Not good. Set this aside. All right, now let's pick it up. Now mind you, these guys are all adult collectibles. They're not made for kids to play with. Now, this is their B61 and they made it as a dump truck. They've also done this as a tandem axle road tractor, but this is the dump truck too. I wish they'd do a cement truck and maybe something else out of it, but this is what we've got right now. It has fancy gold trim pinstriping on the bed. The bed is green and the cab is red. Great Christmas colors, really. It has the slots up the top with a simulated wood board up there. 
It's just painted on. It's all cast in. The cab and the bed are die cast. Wheels are uh, plastic. So are some of the ancillary parts. It's got six spoke Mac style wheels that are red, red rims, and red center caps on a nice soft rubber vintage tire and tread pattern. It's got uh, step style fuel tanks mounted there. And it's got chrome mirrors, chrome grill, chrome uh, air horns, and chrome exhaust stack. That's it for chrome on this truck. It's got the Mack Trucks logo on the door with gold pinstriping around it. Gold pinstriping on the red fender. And then you can see it's got silver latches for the butterfly style hood. And then it's got Mack B61 and thermodyne for the diesel and the little bit of molding trim work on both sides of the hood very classic Mac turning him around to the front it has the thin bumper that's painted green with the upper piece which covers up the grill and protects the grill grill is chrome it says Mac there and it's got the bulldog up top see that bulldog ain't he cute it's amazing they can make that in 64 scale it's got two turn signals on each fender, individual jewel style headlights, driving lights are just painted. Windshield is hard plastic and it's got a center bar there that's painted in black and a gasket around it that's painted black. Windshield wipers are molded into the window and they are painted in silver. Around on this side, you get your airing cleaner really nice the air cleaner and air intake right there and it's painted red step style fuel tanks classic big thick big diameter muffler with a turned out pipe just under the roof of the under the roof ledge or the roof guard on this dump truck body same types of wheels and tires and other details turning them around to the back and you've got Mack trucks uh, logo mud flaps that are black with white Mac branded logo mud flaps. The uh, brake lights are just painted red, two red dots. You can also see some gold pinstriping inside the box. Now the tailgate does open so that you can see that. Also the dump bed does race and I'll do that in just a moment. Now let's go underneath and you can see there we go spring suspension no steering fixed axles no problem the pipe coming out from under the cab going to the muffler bottom of the frames there is the detail for the dump truck the drive shaft that runs the hydraulic pump to raise and lower the dump truck air tanks drive shaft off the transmission to the first axle and then there's one in there to the rear axle big heavy duty mac style uh, differentials and you can see that wonderful tread pattern it's very vintage there's also a data manufacturer right there it says 12418 so this is made on the 124th day of 2018 picking them up let's look this way on the roof you can see it's got molded in roof lights silver with orange tips and then it's got the two bell air horn over here on the driver's side and that's chrome plated the little bell on the outside and the bigger one on the inside. You can see the place where the piston mounts to the bed and then a nice hollow empty bed. Now let's go on and raise it up so you can see it. As I said, the bed opens and the tailgate opens. How cool is that? And that's the Mack Trucks. Red and green mac b61 tandem axle dump truck the bed raises and lowers it's a first gear release how many of you could come up with all 13 types of dump trucks drop your guesses on the next seven types in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to not miss the next video also it would really help me out if you would smash that like button the model truck that I reviewed is in 64 scale, which is common for trucks, but not so common for construction equipment to load the truck. <laughs> for more information on the items that are popular in each scale, grab my free report on 
scale with the link in the description below. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer's Keel, and I'll be back in the Southside Warehouse soon with another episode of Toy Talk.